Hey everyone, my name is Kimchika and you are joining us for The Cat Lady. I really can't get enough of this game. I have been playing it pretty frequently, you know, I have a lot of stuff during the day so a lot of my gameplay happens at night and I have to be really selective in what I pick to play and what I record and this is a game I just, I kept wanting to come back to and I keep thinking about during the workday. We are currently still in chapter two. Uh, our main character is in this hospital and I'm trying to figure out how to get this patient's uh, mother's name. There's for some reason I keep having to come back and the only place I can go now is this bathroom. Okay, so I thought maybe since the water was clear or the mirror was clear there, maybe I wait for it to get foggy here and then it's foggy in there and then the letters will show up when I'm in the drug state. I don't know. Oh! Eel. E-I-L. So wait, what's shy? Sheila? Is that what it is? Oh! Uh, it's, it's her mom's name, okay. I think S-H-E-I-L-A, Sheila, is what it spells. Someone's okay, coming. so we'll have to see. Hold on, my ears itchy. Let's get through this and see. Okay, so it looks like Sheila showed up. So that must be the name. That wasn't even an option. What? I guess that makes, I mean, like, why would that be an option? Because how would she have gotten that name? But still. Okay, so I think we can go back. Oops, I don't want to examine that. So let's go back. Maybe now she'll just say Sheila, and we can trade ID bands and get out of here. Or at least, or maybe interview with Dr. X. Oh, the screams. Okay. Is it Sheila? If you really yes, are yes. a friend, you will know my mother's name. The name that haunts me. A Haunt beautiful me. name. But I know it. Let me just think for a second. Sheila. Sheila. Yes. It was my mother who sent you, mm. after all. I'm sorry I didn't believe you. But my head's all messed up. So, let's have a little chat, sweetheart. Mm. Do you know how to get out of here? Something's wrong with this place. Uh, let's ask, do you know how to get out of here? Do you know how to get out of here? We're not supposed to get out. We must stay here. Do what they say. Take mm. pills they give us. Sometimes, if I behave, they give me the red stuff. I wait for it. I'm being good. Mm. What is this red stuff? It's a drug. My favorite one. Red stuff takes the pain away. Oh, I have some red stuff. I must stay here. Good nurses have been most kind. They always remember. They oh, know I'm suffering. poor lady. But it is not the same as the drugs I see in my dreams. On the other side of the mirror, there's a spider's heart full of drugs. I got it. I just can't seem to find it anymore. Oh, uh, I see. Um, feel like sharing. How about we swap our name bands? How about we swap our name bands? Oh yeah, I don't yes. mind. But that would be like a favor to yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah? Well, technically, you wouldn't lose anything because I'd give you my name band instead. Does that make yes. any sense? Sure. Yeah. I do want something better in return, though. I'm not that stupid. I know you'll use it to get out of here. <laughs> oh, I never said you're stupid. I. You're I just smart really one. want to go home. Please understand. That's fine. I don't mind. I'll give it to you if you get me the red stuff. What I you say? say. I thought nurses give it to you anyway. No, not that. I'm talking about the real thing. Something you can only get in the world of dreams. Now that is something special. It is. Is it safe? It's perfectly safe. Um, okay. I'll see what I can do. All right, well, feel like sharing? Well, no. 
Is there other options? No? Are you, uh, I guess what exactly is this treat? What exactly is this little treat you mentioned? It's the red teardrop of pure happiness. They bring it, hmm. I drink it down, and my pain goes away. Without it, I just feel so angry. It's like I'm going crazy. <laughs> it's funny, but I just get so fucking angry oh, I give you sometimes. The stuff. <laughs> I'm dying, I think. We're all dying, I heard. She said I'd go to hell for it, but I didn't do anything. I didn't know. Mm. Does he know? Who? Him! The doctor? Right. Okay. No, probably not. I need the red medicine. I need it now. I must be a good girl. I must be a nice girl. Maybe I could get you some of that stuff. Do you know where they keep it? Oh, they have it hidden well. You can't get there. Mm. Or maybe you can. I see it in my dreams sometimes. Mm. It's where the nurses are. I already found are. it. But in my dream, there are no nurses there. I see it, but I can't get it. It's so near. I got it. And yet so far. I can still hear the broken heartbeat. I know, of the I heard heart. it. Okay, I feel like sharing. Okay, about these name bands. I mean, I'll talk to you later, yeah? I'll talk to you later, yeah? Yes. Go. Be careful. They're watching us. And remember, we must be nice to earn the red stuff. Always be nice. Well, poor woman. Poor woman, but lucky me, because I have the red stuff. So let's take the drug, give it to poor, poor lady. I've found the thing you asked me for. But, are you absolutely certain it won't harm you? Don't be silly. Of course it won't. Fine. I mm. hope you know what you're doing. Can I have your name band now, please? Yes. No matter what they say, I do keep my promises. What do <laughs> they... You know what? It doesn't matter. Name band Tracy's! Thank right. you for your help. Let's bust out of this joint. Oh, she's off to go talk to the nurses? What is she doing? See ya. Well, here, let's take this. Please do not touch these. They are all confidential documents. Yeah? Well, okay. maybe you shouldn't. If you were well, looking for some fires. Let me show off the name band and then maybe they'll just let me go. Sorry, ma'am, can't let you through. We'll need to see a discharge oh, letter from you. Oh. Right. It seems that a discharge letter is the only ticket out of here. Well, okay, fine. Can I read it? Okay, she is Anne Burton. So I wonder if I show my my thing, since the nurse clearly doesn't remember me. Um, Annie's band examine nurse. Let's talk to the nurse. Um, can you please discharge me? I feel much better now. Can you please discharge me? I'm glad to hear that. But I can't discharge you until Dr. X sees you. He should be doing his round very soon. Please return to your bed. Okay, so discharge letter. Okay. Well, I can't get to the discharge lever letter because the nurse is there. I'm wondering... Okay. Maybe... Actually, let me check Anne's room first. Make sure she's okay. Oh, she's not in there. It's a clock. How can I get the nurse to fall? I should give her drugs. I should have given her the red stuff. Okay, there's nothing here. I already have gloves, so maybe I need to do something with the gloves. Ugh. Sometimes with these point-and-click games, I really get confused on what I need to do. Okay, so the last stuff was in the bathroom, so I don't know if the next thing will be in the bathroom. Maybe this note? Bin. Did I examine it? 
I mean, can use the toilet. Look at, use, flush. Yes, open lid. Do I you want to use it again? Maybe is there like a key hidden in the toilet? Let's just it's rather filthy. Well, I can grab poop and then I can throw it at the stupid nurse. Oh! Did I I just put the gloves in the toilet? Why? Should I use it? Use it? To I don't need to do it again. Okay, well, fine. Can I flush it? Will I clog the toilet? Oh! Clog the toilet. The nurse will hate me. Ha 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 ha. Man, the nurse already, she does, she does not like me. Okay, well, I guess let's ring bell for the assistance. Bring her over here. Then maybe I'll slip a Rooney, slip all the way around, and grab the discharge papers and go before she has a chance to fix anything. Someone is coming. Have you rang the bell? Is there an emergency? Yeah. The toilet's blocked. What? Oh, well, that's hardly an emergency. It is when you need to use it urgently, like <laughs> I do. Gotta crap my pants! I see. Fine, I'll sort it out. Just give me a minute. Oh, it's the gloves. Again! I guess I'll have to get my hands dirty Ooh, since the cleaner's me. called in sick. Ew. Well, have fun, mean nurse. It's time for me to lock you in the bathroom and, uh, bust out of here. Alright, I wonder... Okay, so if I'm leaving, maybe I won't have to talk to the doctor. I can just take my stuff and go. Alright. Dudes, look. Oh, here, let me put on Annie's band. Oh, I guess I don't have to put it on. Okay, well, here, dude. Sorry, Mom, can't let you through. But you can. We'll need to see a discharge letter from your doctor first. Here, I have here. One. Are you happy now? Yes, that seems fine. There we go. Bye. Can I just check your name band to confirm that you are indeed Anne Burst? <laughs> yes. Oh, all right. I didn't realize you knew how to read. Oh, I'm sassy. There you go. Can I go now? Of course. Thank you, Mom. He's pretty polite. We'll see you soon. Uh, no. No. You won't. <laughs> now get out of my way. Before I kick you out of my way. 300 style. Okay, here we go. Oh. Door. Examine at the storage room door. Ah, anything? Nope, nothing I can take. Nothing there. Let's examine door to some office. That's locked. Got some nice office pictures. Dime ward. Oh, fuck! And you must be Susie uh. Ashley. Um, <laughs> well, perhaps I am. Uh, Do you mind if I ask doctor. you where you're heading to? I was just going for a little walk. Stretch my legs. Oh, he's Get totally the parasite air. that we have to watch out for. He knew. Oops. Hey, 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 guys. Give it a rest. I'm not going anywhere. Aww. Miss Ashworth, please relax. There's been a mistake. You have been prescribed wrong medication. I apologize sincerely on behalf of my team and the hospital. But luckily, we managed to spot it on time. After you gave on it to me? On time. You have no idea what I've been through? Once again, I'm truly sorry. I promise no more drugs will be given to you. I, don't know. I personally guarantee you will have a good, peaceful sleep tonight, and you can be discharged in the morning. Why not? Why now? can't I go tonight? I want to go now. Thank you, Susan. I'm really sorry, but we can't legally discharge suicidal patients without a full psychiatric assessment. Mm -hmm. It's too late for it now, but I promise we'll have a chat in my office first thing in the morning, okay? And then you can go home. Is that all right? I haven't really got much choice, have I? Yeah, sorry, Susan. Oh, hi, Rosie. Now, so now I'd we're like in the to office. ask you some questions about your life, Susan. You might find them very personal. 
but it's important that you answer me as honestly as possible. Fine. All right, let's get it over with then, shall we? I'd like to go home at last. Yeah. Of course, I understand. So, Susan, let's see. Are you living alone at the moment? Uh, I rent a flat. It's quite lonely most of the time. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. Or I live with a friend. She must be worried sick about me. Hmm. I mean, I feel like I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I live on my own and it suits me just fine. I don't need anyone. People mostly bore me. Sometimes they annoy me or upset me. I'm happy with how things are at the moment. I have my little bit of space and it's my own. It's private. I'd like to keep it that way. Mm -hmm. What do you do for a living? Uh, I'm between jobs. I'm a waitress. I work in the cafe. Uh, I guess technically I'm between jobs because I thought I was dead, so... I'm between jobs at the moment. Awkward. I'll find something soon. But it's been difficult. I didn't feel that great. I felt weak and powerless mm. and tired most of the time. I felt really awfully tired. Mm. Typical depression symptoms. We can give you something for that. You'll feel stronger and motivated. I admire your faith in modern medication, Doctor. I hope you're right. Mm. But medication Describe to work. me what your mornings look like. What is the first thing you do each day? Uh, drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. <laughs> Eat breakfast, cup of tea and read the newspaper. Lie in bed, awake, can't bring myself to open my eyes. Kinda like the idea of being like, black coffee in a smoke. <laughs> I drink strong coffee and smoke on the balcony. I know it's not a great start for the coffee day. Coffee sounds great. But it's one of my little pleasures in life that I find very hard to say no to. Hmm. Would you say that you feel safer at home than outside? Uh... Yeah, I suppose. I... Yeah, I suppose. It's not really about safety. Doesn't everyone I've feel just felt more comfortable sad in for a home? long time now? Really sad, you know? Somehow it brings me down even more when I go out and see all those happy, successful people. Mm -hmm. It makes me feel more like a failure mm -hmm. if I don't see it. It doesn't hurt that much. Mm -hmm. What do you think is missing in your life? Or rather, what is one thing that you think would make your life better? Ooh, tough question. It'd be nice to have more money, a good friend, someone I could finally trust. I know it's silly, but I wish I was better looking. Something to fight for, a reason to go on. Let's do something to fight for. Something to fight for, you know? A reason to go on. There's always a reason to live. Sometimes we just don't see it that clearly. Well, Doctor, I must have gone all blind then, because I can't see any. Have you ever attended group therapy uh, for depression? No. Or some other form of counseling? Uh... Yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. Yes, it didn't help much, as you can see. Just something to think about. I can see you're really willing to open up and talk about your issues. Am I? That's a positive Am I sign. Really opening I, up? I haven't really talked about my feelings for a long time. You're doing very well so far. Do you have problems sleeping? Ugh, my eyes are itchy. Okay. Um, do I have... I mean... Every night, yeah? Every night. I take pills for that. 
There aren't any left now, though. Uh, funny story. In the light of recent events, I think you should stay off those pills for a while. I suggest you drink some hot milk before bed instead. Ugh. Would you describe for me how you feel at the moment? Uh, I feel fine now. I feel fine now. I feel like I want to change my life for the better. Not really sure how yet, but I really want to try. Hmm. Do you find it hard to concentrate? Uh, sure, but doesn't everyone? Yes, sometimes. Do you drink alcohol, Susan? Uh, only sometimes. Only sometimes. I'd suggest you don't consume any alcohol at all for a while. Hmm. Does that sound like something you can do? Yeah, sure. I'm not a big drinker anyway. Sometimes when life gets too much and people feel sad or upset, they think about suicide. Do you often think about suicide? Hmm. No, of course not. I don't know what got into me. Well, I used to think about it sometimes. Yes, I think about it often. I mean, I feel like it just, again, thinking about it from Susan's perspective, she probably would say yes. I... Yes. I think about it often. But now, I know I can't do it. Still, it won't just go away that easily. I need more time. I need to think it through. I need to find my peace with the world, I guess. Mm. Please, in your own words, try to explain to me why did you really try to take your own life, Susan? Sudden impulse. Nothing was making me happy anymore. Want to show everyone how hurt I was deep inside. That sounds too much. Um, just nothing was making me happy anymore. Nothing was making me happy anymore. There wasn't a single thing that would bring a smile to my face. I kept thinking, won't it be better if I just disappear? I tried. I really tried to find something. Took a long bath. Picked up a book. Watched some television. But I just couldn't get into anything. All those things seemed like worthless distractions. And I myself felt obsolete. Needless. Mm. It just would get worse and worse. By the afternoon, I realized I cried for the past three hours. Ooh. I... I didn't even know I'd been crying until I went to the bathroom and saw my face in the mirror. I looked like a ghost. I looked like I was dead already, you know? And then I saw the sleeping pills. I thought, why not? And I did it. Mm -hmm. Do you feel as if you're a burden? Or that life isn't worth living? Mm, I feel like she hasn't gotten over it yet, right? So sometimes. Sometimes, when I feel really low, I just... I used to think everyone would be happier without me. But I guess people don't really care. Aww. Besides, I live alone. Who could I be a burden to? What makes you feel better? My cats! <laughs> Work used to make me happy. Antidepressants, a long bath. Music. Music is true. I'm gonna say my cats, though. My cats. I always put out a bowl of food for the stray cats. Mm. They're ever so grateful. It's like Neko like Atsune, but real life. <laughs> real life. What makes you feel worse? People, they let me down too many times. I hate it when it rains. Noise. Loneliness. It's hard to say. It could be anything. Hmm. Not people. Noise, loneliness. It's hard to say. It's hard to say. It could be anything. Sometimes it could be just little things. The way my hair looks. Shoes I can't find. When I run out of milk. I get angry with myself for being clumsy. For not being able to cheer up and just get on with things. Like everyone else. Have you imagined your funeral? And how people will react to your death? <laughs> Uh, probably nobody would come. I never really thought about that. I imagined that often. I hope people would feel guilty. I feel like she'd probably say probably nobody would come. Probably nobody would come anyway. Can you imagine it? Now that's a sad picture. Loved by no one. Missed only by some 
cats. Mm. No tears Don't shed for me. Your cats. No flowers on my grave. But that's okay. I never liked flowers. Mm. I wouldn't miss that. Finally, I'd like you to tell me about Eric. Who's Eric? Eric? Yes, your husband. What? I believe this might be important. I... What can you tell me about your relationship? Whoa. What had happened between you two? But I... Uh, so I have a daughter and I have a husband? What? I don't really want to talk about this. This has nothing to do with him. There's nothing to talk about. It's late. Can we get to talk about it some other time? Um... Let's just say I don't really want to talk about this. They all sound kind I, of negative, so something I must have happened really between talk about Susan this. and her husband. Hmm. Fine. I suppose you've opened enough for one day. Okay, one more question. This is just a formality, but I have to ask, are you going to do it again? That's a hard one. I don't know. But, hey, I've got it. The answer is... No, <laughs> I'm not. Thank you very much. Yeah, nice try. Excellent. We are nearly done here. There's just one more thing I must clear with you. Great. What exactly happened last night? Last night? Well, after I'd met you outside the ward yesterday, I went back to my room and fell asleep. I slept really well, considering what happened earlier. But then someone woke me up. It was the same nurse who was so friendly with me the first night. She said we needed to talk. Hmm. We don't know if she exists, because when we asked the other nurse about her... We must go, Susan. You are not safe here. But... Please, you must follow me. Quickly. Oh, is this what happened the other night? Oh, that's cool. Inception. I went after her. The ward seemed very quiet. It must have been late at night. Maybe she's the parasite and the doctor's just creepy. Wait for me. Tell me what's going on here. Here we go. Let's follow Liz. The security guys were gone. She pointed at the corridor and said, You go first. I'll explain everything in a minute. Hmm. See, I don't know. Susan, if we don't escape now, they're going to hurt you. Please trust me. I know a way out of here. I'll help you escape. Let's go down this corridor. I'll be right behind you. This corridor? Okay. But she's not behind me. Oh gosh. I think I can hear someone coming. She's the parasite. Oh my gosh, she's gonna do some- Damn it! We can't go through that. I don't know what to Let's think. Let's turn back, Susan. I know another way. This is weird. Turn left here. We can use the maintenance lift to get us out of this place. Down the dark corridor? things. I just, all the bad things. Okay, so far so good. But clearly I didn't escape because I'm back with the doctor, so what happened? What are we doing on the roof? Yeah. Liz, 
Oh my gosh, she's gonna like try to push me off the roof or something. What the hell are you doing? <gasps> and why is there blood on your clothes? Oh, she was the parasite. Liz. It's quicker than the stairs. And besides, all the doors are locked anyway. This is the only way out of here. Mm -mm. The only escape. Well, she's like a secret patient or something. Let's both jump. It won't hurt. You'll see. You've lost your mind. Get down here right now. This is a bad idea. It's bad. This is a bad idea. Come down and we'll talk. I've made up my mind. I need to end this suffering now. Besides, I have no one to live for anyway. No! No one ever listened to me. No one ever cared. I listened. You're a nice girl. You have your whole life ahead of you. You listened. Did you really? Of course I did. You talk a lot, but I've always been a good listener. Yeah, I, I did talking like talking to her. She's funny. So do you remember that story then? The one I told you the other night? The one about the woman in A&D? I think so. She disappeared, later found dead. The one who sick kicked the security guy in the crotch. Smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Dropped it off the roof and broke her spine. I don't think you told me that story. I don't know. Yeah, she smoked a cigarette? Yeah. She smoked a cigarette and burned in bed. Okay. You have oh, listened. Yes. Maybe you're right. Or maybe it was just a blind guess. Maybe. But I must jump anyway. No. I have no choice. Stop. Wait. Please stop. Oh. Uh, think for it's a second. It's going to be like Walking Dead all over again. Did you not hear what I said? I have no choice. You have a choice. Yes, you do. You can choose to come back inside with me. And we'll just forget this like it never happened. Okay? Do you remember that other thing I told you? Mm. I'm sure I told you about my flatmates. Did I tell you what one of them does for a living? Oh, yes. I bet yes, you don't remember do. that. She's like a stripper. Yes. She's a stripper. Yes. Or at least that's what I think she yep, is. I listened to you. You've come listened. Down. I just wish other people that's did. Fine. Come down. I'm sure they do. <sighs> it can't be that bad. What do you know? Why do you care anyway? I don't want you to make the same mistake I did. That's not even reversible. I thought you of all people knew how it feels when you're trapped and you can't trust anyone. Look, I'm sure there must be someone who cares about you. My colleagues don't care. My family don't care. Even my fucking boyfriend never cared. No. He said he needed to go find himself. Did I tell you when he broke up with me? Yeah, it was on Valentine's Day. On Valentine's Day? Yes. Valentine's Day. You and I could have been good friends, you know. Oh, you really I listened. listened to everything I said after all. You did. I, I'll be back. When you need help. No. I'll be there, no, no, Susan. No, 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 no. But right now, it's time for me to let go. No, please don't. No. Please don't. Please don't. <gasps> don't show it. Please don't show it. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> After that, I went back. I tried telling people about Liz, but they all thought I was crazy again and didn't believe me. And you were absolutely sure you saw Liz jump off this bill? Yeah. You know, it doesn't matter. I just want to finish oh, this and get true. some fresh air. Susan, I know Liz well. She wouldn't do okay, something Okay, so she like was that. real. As a matter of fact, I saw her this morning. She's fine. I'd what? like you to come with me and see her. Say hi. Make sure she's all right. Stop treating me like I'm crazy. Yeah. Fine. I'll go. I don't even care that much anyway. Mm. The door is locked? Uh-oh. You're the per I plan ahead, Susan. I had a feeling in my gut, and my gut's never wrong. 
I feel like I really got to know you, though. I'm very sorry you've had such a difficult life. Oh my gosh, she's gonna attack me. Get away. Get away. I like your green eyes and your sleek cheekbones. <gasps> You're a clever girl, Susan. But the sadness has poisoned you for too long. There is no coming back from it. What? No, you're my doctor. You're not supposed to tell me that. Get away from me. For what it's worth, I would have let you go if it wasn't for Liz. You killed her. <gasps> what? Queen of the Magnets. That was the curse. Or blessing, if she... I don't know what she would call it, but... Where is this place? Queen of the Maggots. I wonder what it does. Mm, I can't go this way anymore. <gasps> Oh god. Oh gosh. Okay. Who who are you? I am the crow, of course. I will get you out of here. Unless you don't want to stay. No, I don't wanna stay. I thought so. There are two doors leading out of this place. One of them will simply take to the back. doors. I can't see them. Just walk back to the right side of the stage. I knew it as soon as I can't miss them. So one of them will take me back to where I belong. The other one will give me a great reward. <gasps> oh god, why is this game so creepy? Oh. Does Susan like my girls? I knew she would. Ew. Ew. Whatever they are, tell them to stop staring. It's not polite. But they are here to guide, Susan. They are the guardians of the doors. Oh, like a Tweedledee they and Tweedledum. One of There's them lies. A problem. I don't know. I'm not even surprised. Which door should I go through? I'm going to leave that to Susan's own best judgment. But this might be her only chance to find what she had lost. And Susan will never get it back. Susan has one question. And she can only ask one of them. Uh, she must use it wisely. Uh, fine. I can do that. But what's the catch? It's very simple. One of my girls always tells the truth. The other one well, always the other lies. One always lies. Great. And I'm guessing you can't tell me which is which? It's something I've forgotten myself a long time ago, Susan. Well, does it really matter? <coughs> what I'm questioning is also the least <coughs> right Okay, so I don't... I guess it doesn't really matter, because this riddle... Wasn't this in, like... What? It was, like, in Labyrinth, I think. So I guess... Let's ask a question. Um, which door should I enter? Which door would lead me to my reward? Back to my world. Door on the left, the one I should open. The right, the one I should open. Which door would the other doll point me to? Is the other doll a liar? If I enter the left doll, would I get a reward? Which door would you enter? Which door should I not enter? Okay. If I remember correctly, I think I need to ask which door would the other doll point me to? If it's telling the truth, It'll point 
to the one that the doll lying would point to, and I'd pick the opposite one. The doll is lying would point to the it would still point to that one, and I'd still pick the opposite one, I think. So I think that's the right Which door question. would the other doll point me to? That one. So then I need to pick this door. Because it's... If the doll lied, it would be the other door. I hope I'm right. Roses. Is... Is this supposed to be my reward? Flowers. I hate flowers. You lied to me. But it's where I belong. Right? I, I mean, ultimately, you I lied. Think that's that's what's supposed to happen. Let's take them. Take them. <gasps> oh, that was the wrong choice, maybe. Uh. It's a real thing. There will be anything precious waiting for you here. Look at the lovely roses. Just like everything else. Is this, is this a lesson for me? What are you trying to tell me? Hope that was the right door. Maybe I got it wrong. I'm back. There's candles. I don't want to blow it out. But that's the only option I'm getting. Ah, come on. I don't want to do this again. Fine. It's going to take another person's life. I know it. Very much like the one I was just in. What's going on? What was that sound? Jump scare is gonna happen. Great. Uh... Oh, oh, that's disgusting. Body bag. What the heck? Examine. It's gonna be me or that lady that I just killed. Oh, it's gonna be me. Gosh, okay. I can't, I gotta open. Ah! Is it me? Is it me? Is it me? Oh, it is me. Oh, I saw our eyes gonna open. Ah, uh, haha, called it. That was the me that got stabbed. Was it? I think so. You treacherous, dirty bastard. I opened my heart to you, and you stabbed me to death in cold blood. You'll pay for this. I swear you will. But this means the old woman was right. I can't die. I'm immortal. I think it's time to find out how very mortal mm. you are, Doctor. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I think this is... <laughs> really intense spot to end but I think that we should end here Susan has now really proven herself that she, to herself she is immortal and now is out for blood ah so wow 
Uh, again, what a fascinating game. Super dark. Again, there is a there is a sign at the front of the game, or like a little title board at the front of the game that says, if you're under 18, this game is not for you. It's not designed for you. So if you're under 18, I mean, technically you should not be watching this. Uh, but yeah, really, really, really interesting game. I'm still res trying to reserve my opinion holding until I sort of see each of these chapters finish. We're still on chapter two. But so far, I, I like it. I like that it forces you, there's a lot of dialogue, but it forces you to, to really reflect for yourself. Because um, I find myself thinking about what I would answer to these questions if I were to be asked them right now, in addition to thinking about how Susan would answer them. So really nice for sort of reflection as you play. But yeah, the cat lady. So if you like this, let me know in the comments. If you've played this game, let me know. Uh, I don't know too many people who've even heard of this game, only a few other you know, close friends of mine, so if you have heard of this game if you've played it, let me know what you think, and I will see you in the next video.